a lot of people don't actually know what these are. Not to my standard. Very painful. <laughs> it's really testing me right now. I've restyled. <gasps> Welcome or welcome back to the Fauna Rose YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I'm the owner of Fauna Rose and I make and sell scrunchies, macrame, tote bags, decor, a whole bunch of goodies like that. And in today's video, I'm kind of starting this at a really bad time. I'm going to work in less than an hour. <laughs> I've just finished the last vlog and this vlog, how many times do I have to say the word vlog? This vlog could go one of two ways. It's either just going to be a week in the life of a small business owner or sort of a few days with me or it's going to be market prep. <laughs> Because if you watched last week's video, I ended it by saying I have spontaneously decided to potentially do a market this weekend. I say potentially, long story short, someone has dropped out and they basically advertised their space, but I am just waiting for the organizers now to get back to me. So hopefully they will, but it is in Newark, which is just over an hour away from here, I think. But as far as I'm aware, it's going to be free it's not going to cost me anything but the people who have sent me all the information and stuff said it was a huge space they said the table was like 12 feet long <laughs> which is fine I can make a setup fit two tables because I have done two six foot tables like on an L shape I've never done it that way before but I suppose it's the same concept but apparently they're also like really deep as well so whether or not I actually have enough stuff is a different question so if I am doing a market good job I ordered a bunch of stuff this is kind of where I left off sort of I have done a little bit more since in the last vlog I was working on these wristlets as well as trying to finish up the bag straps for my Alex checkerboard tote bags any checkerboard item in my shop is part of the Alex collection which is my other half's name because we have an unhealthy the obsession with checkerboard in this house but all I need to do now is finish the edges of these tote bags and sew in the straps I don't think I'm gonna have time to do that before I go to work because I have to iron the seams iron those into place, clip them in place, sew them in place, takes absolutely ages. But I have finished a bunch of wristlets. I've got a bunch of my Dahlia wristlets. They still need the threads cut in, but I have my little logo there. If you don't know what a wristlet is, well, a lot of people don't actually know what these are. And I get asked all the time at markets what they're for. They go on your keys and they can go around your wrist. So I've got a bunch of the Dahlia ones. I think I only have two left in stock. So I just made some up. Anyway, I've made two Halley ones because the fabric was already pre-cut. And then these ones are my new ones so these probably won't come to the market with me because the collection won't drop until around the 1st of September because it's my autumn slash fall collection but how adorable is this fabric look at it it's so cute I love this so much it's quite a subtle autumn fall pattern but I really like these all I'm gonna do is sit cut the threads off these and then I might add the hardware which is one of my least favorite jobs I hate 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 doing this with a passion just takes a lot of time it's a lot of effort but it needs to and then i'm gonna go to work <laughs>
all done. My hands are absolutely killing me. If you're ever looking for a quick project, this is not the one. It takes so long, there are so many steps. To making these, I obviously choose to add a few more steps in there, like add my label, I add the interfacing to make them thicker, I add glue. I suppose you could do these a lot quicker, but not to my standard, you can't. <laughs> Look how cute these ones are, the autumn winter ones. I think these are amazing. I love how these turned out. So if you're after a cute autumn winter wristlet, you're gonna have to stay tuned until around the 1st of September for these to drop. I do have them in scrunchies, as well you might have seen in previous vlogs but then the rest are done so I've got the two Halley ones and then all of the Dahlia ones which is seven of those it's now quarter to three so I'm gonna have to go get ready for work but I will catch you guys whenever I next pick up the vlog looking very messy in the office today. I've just been editing, trying to get this video finished. It's not quite finished yet. It's the part two to the Lincoln Jamaica's Market vlog. But I got up this morning and I went to the doctors. <laughs> I went to see a physio about my back and she gave me a little massage, which was very painful. <laughs> And in typical physio style, I've been given some stretches and exercises to do, been told to keep up with swimming. I can go to the gym, which is good. I just have to take it very easy. I can't lift loads of like heavy weights. The supervisor is supervising. So it doesn't seem like bad news. She just said to see how I get on really with some stretches and yeah, so I booked in again for next week. So there's not much to say about that. We just gotta hope that the pain just leaves me alone. <laughs> but then I went to B&Q and spent a lot more money there again, B&Q. If you ever wanna sponsor me, that would be great because we've given a lot of money to you in the last few months. <laughs> I'd picked up some more wood for some displays for the Creative Makers Market. And then I had a couple of parcels arrive. These are basically like paper streamers. It's probably not gonna show up because it'll either focus on Cleo or me. This one is the same color as Cleo. <laughs> it's like a pale orange and this one's a pale yellow because I wanna make, you're really not in a good place there, girly. I really wanna make for the Creative Makers Market a backdrop photo sort of area just to make, I don't know, it look cute and if people wanna take selfies there or whatever they can. Just so the markets are more of an experience as well. <laughs> Honestly mate. So this is kind of the aim of what I'm hoping to do and then I also want to have a similar shape to my pegboard so an arch with the Creative Makes market on it, I don't know. So I bought a few of these. I would have bought loads of these but these are so expensive. I bought tablecloths, coloured tablecloths and I'm going to cut them up because I've seen people do that. And then some vinyl has arrived. Ooh, three sheets of white, one of this warm yellow, one orange and then i couldn't decide what color green to go for because it's hard to judge the actual color on screen so i got all four <laughs> this is permanent vinyl and this is for the new product that i was talking about and so far i haven't heard back yet about the market this saturday so i'm a bit <laughs> forgot to say i also had these arrive which is my lobster class them in there. So all I'm gonna do is finish editing the vlog, get that exported and stuff, and then I might tidy the office because it's a mess. It, I honestly am such a messy worker. As always, <laughs> ignore the hair. I've just thrown it up and it reminds me of, you know the two little kids in, is it Emperor's New Groove? And they're like, <laughs> I don't know if you know what I'm on about, but ignore it. Gosh, because I'll be stuck here. But I'm just tidying the office and organising a few bits, and I realised I've only got like two I'm Recyclable stickers left, so I've just printed some more off on my mum bin. This is what they look like. I put these on my poly mailers just so people know that they are recyclable. So I'm just going to quickly cut these out, restock them, and then carry on tidying the office. Bubbles? Do you want some feet? <laughs> you need your ears cleaning, mate. Good morning, guys. I'm having a really fun morning. So I still haven't heard from the people who run the event for this weekend. So I'm like... And on top of that, Canva won't work. 
at all. I've been sat here since half seven this morning. It is now 10 a.m. All I've managed to do is open a page that is the size of a thumbnail because I use Canva to edit a lot of things, including my thumbnails. And it's taken me two and a half hours to get four pictures to load and to finally get one text on it. It's just not working in the slightest. And I have no idea why. I've never had any issues with Canva before. I think it is an incredible platform. I love it so much. I don't love it right now. It's really testing me right now. I just wanna make this thumbnail because like I said, I've wasted two and a half hours trying to do this. When it's working, <laughs> it's brilliant. Mm -mm. Two and a half wasted hours. <laughs> Guys, we're on just over three and a half hours. I went and made myself a cup of tea. I restarted my internet. I deleted more stuff off my laptop, restarted. <gasps> okay. I did all that and then it finally started to load. Postman's here. Oh my god, please have all my parcels that I need. I'm scared if I press download. Please don't break, please don't break, please work, please work, please work. It's downloading. Okay, I'm missing a bunch of parcels, but that's fine. I'll open these in a second. Do I have a thumbnail? Oh, I have a thumbnail. Is it blurry? No, oh my god. I think I aged about 10 years in those last three and a bit, four hours, however long that's just taken me. And what's annoying is I need Canva to do most of the tasks that are on my to-do list for today. Oy. Let's get that uploaded to YouTube, get it out of my face. I'm so excited for this box in particular, but I'm so scared. This is one of the new items that I'm potentially going to be working on. What's this? Oh, elastic. Awesome. Just the one? Where's the rest of it? It's fine. We won't dwell on it. This will be my labels. I can do that today. Sit and trim and fold and burn these into shape. I'm so excited but so nervous. It doesn't sound like anything's broke, but I have mentioned that I wanted to do these. I didn't say what they were, but I did say it was quite an oversaturated thing now. A lot of people are doing them, but that's a typical me thing. I see something, like the idea and think, right, I'm gonna do it. And then a year and a half later, I finally do it. So it's my own fault, but they're breakable. So the thought of potentially doing these and shipping them and I don't know, it being an actual breakable item stresses me out a little bit. So I don't know if these would be on the website. They will probably be a market item only, at least to start, especially because to ship them, it's gonna cost more because they're bigger items. Oh wow, they are very well packaged. Oh, are you kidding me? Of course, something had to go wrong. Oh, great. You can probably guess by now what they are. But these are straws, glass straws. On the advert, it showed that all the straws were the same. They're different. So you've got two that are bent, which is the style that I wanted, and two that are straight. It does come with the little cleaning thing, so I'm gonna have to source different straws. Oh my God, they're so cute. And they're the slightly bigger size as well, which is what I wanted. Right, well that's the first one, not broken, which is great. If you haven't guessed, <laughs> I wanted to do the cute designs on these little glass things. I know everyone's doing them now, so I kind of missed my mark, but how cute are they? Okay, one down. Are the rest gonna be broken? <laughs> They all survived. Thank you, Royal Mail, for keeping them safe. Finally, making an idea come to life a year and a half late. How cute. But I kind of need Canva to bring my designs to life because the plan was to also do some vinyl stuff today because I've got some banners. I do have these guys already in my shop. It's the same design that you can get on the tote bag. You're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> and I do have some other bigger banners, again, that I've had in my like craft stash for a long time and I've just never put any designs on them. They're bigger than those ones and they're the same color and then I've got black ones as well. And I did a very, very rough little sketch on Procreate. So part of my branding, I guess, is Stay Wild. So I did like the roughest, naffest, design like mock up but I could do with designing it properly on Canva just because I can save it a really high quality and then I can transfer it to the Silhouette Studio. Silhouette is what I use to cut my vinyl and stuff. This has made my day so much better. I'm gonna put my glasses 
in here because I feel like no matter where I put them, they're not going to be safe because if you didn't know, these are so expensive. <laughs> Watch the whole thing now fall no <laughs> let's not put that into the universe that's me really excited i also want to do hot mugs because they're more for like iced coffee and ice drinks and stuff because i love a mug i'm a sucker for a mug <laughs> is working a little bit better now it's still a little bit slow but i can actually get stuff out of it so this is what i'm thinking of putting on the banners i don't know this summer not 100 percent about it that i'm a bit like mm, and i can't figure out what it is but these are the banners they're a little bit bigger than my other ones so i might play around with this for a few more minutes see if i can figure out what i don't like about it i can't decide if i prefer the outside flowers being bigger or the inside flowers being bigger little trick i'm not a vinyl expert but if you peel the mat off the vinyl instead of the vinyl off the mat it stops it from curling the design's smaller than i was expecting i did measure it out and everything but it's not thick at all when i compare it to the size of the banner it's really small look at the state of my desk honestly i have no idea how anyone keeps a nice clean workspace but i am so bad at it oh there we go so my little hack. So what I would do is I would lay this flat on my whatever I'm putting this on. And then obviously I won't use these bits. This will give me the little bits that are still attached to it. Will give me a rough idea of where these need to go. So I will then pop these where it needs to go. And like stick it to the design. I'm just sitting here 
I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Hello guys, it's Friday, Friday the 28th and it's nearly midday and I haven't filmed pretty much anything I've done really. I've had an odd few days where I can't bring myself to do the things I need to do but then I'm trying to do other things that is not going well at all and it's taking then like hours and hours to do. I'm like overwhelmed I think, the office is a mess and I'm just a bit like ah! I've been trying to get some products done for the market tomorrow. I don't know if I told you, but I did get confirmed that I can go. <laughs> I'm kind of dreading it though, because the weather's been absolutely appalling. So chances of it being really windy and really rainy is very high. And the worst case scenario is we just pack up, don't stay there, and we just pop over to Alex's parents and we just chill with them. These are the banners I usually have. This one is one of the new ones. It is missing a star, so I do need to get that cut, but my laptop died, so it's currently on charge. We've got that one. This is the slightly smaller one, but it still looks cute, but you can't majorly tell. And then I basically wasted the entire day yesterday and wasted a bunch of vinyl, which I'm gutted about because obviously I don't like creating waste. Basically trying to create my cups, my designs for my cups, and Annoyingly enough, the vinyl did cut. This is not the cheapest vinyl because it's like permanent high quality vinyl. The design is on there, however it just was not working at all. I don't know if you can see, I absolutely butchered it and I'd cut two out. So that was two sheets wasted. So on the third one, because it was cutting, I kept all the settings the same because the settings were right. I just then double cut it and was like, please just work. This is my last piece of vinyl. I've got four cups and one piece of vinyl left. But after a very trying time, I did get a design out of it. This is really cute. It's got like stars and moons on it. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it. I love this. I finally weeded it all out, which took a lot of patience because the little faces on like the moon and stuff just kept flying off. And I was like, Ooh. I've had a very testing week when it comes to my patience. And so we have one cup done. So this took what, two, three days of work. And that's all I have to show for it. This one is part way done. One of the leaves at the bottom did mess up, so I just need to cut a new one out. That's where we're up to. So it's just randomly stopped mid cut and I have no idea why it's never done this before. Um, what do I do? Are you okay? Why did why did you stop? I've got all my little individual nugget pieces. I need to try and peel off the dodgy one. I bet people who do this like professionally or like properly, they do this all the time. They're probably cringing so hard. <laughs> and I'm just gonna stick the top bit gently down. Peel it off. I also need to make some little care cards for these because I wouldn't recommend putting them in the tumble dryer because again it's a tumble dryer. <laughs> why would you put them in the tumble dryer? <laughs> the What's it called? Not the washing machine? What's the washing machine called for your pots? Dishwasher. Jeez. Tumble dryer. <laughs> and you have to wash these pretty much in cold water, hand wash only. No scrub in the design obviously, kind of, without sounding patronising, kind of just common sense. It's much better. <laughs> One down, 19 more to go. <laughs> Thank you. 
that was slightly stressful and very time consuming but it looks very cute we have two glasses done for the market which is great <laughs> these are for the creative makers market i'll explain them probably in another video Hello guys, sorry you can't really see me, but I'm back from work now, it's quite a few hours later and I tried to quickly sew up one of my tote bags, I like ironed in the shape and clipped in the straps and everything, but would it sew? No. I don't know if my sewing machine's broke or if I just don't know what I'm doing. It's absolutely butchered the tote bag, which isn't good. So I left it because I didn't want to be late for work and thought, you know what, we will try it again when I'm back. It's jammed again. Come on. Are the stitches even nice? No, they're a mess. Oh, back on my very nicely burnt ironing board. The second round of stitches wasn't too bad. They're still not great, just not straight. I basically have to fold and iron the top seam into place and then pin the straps into place. where I want the straps to go. So I just flip it over and do the same on the other side but I'm gonna to have to use the end of the board because I won't be able to iron with these metal clips in place. Second tote done, now on to the third. Finally, all three. <laughs> Are done so i'm not going to overly stress about getting more products done i'm gutted that i only have two cups done but they're not an item that i sell regularly i can't say that word regularly so two is better than none and after the trying week i've had with every single item i've tried to make i'm happy with where i'm at so i'm just going to pack all of my stuff get everything ready to go tidy some of the office and then if i've got any time i probably should go to sleep because we're up at like five to get there but i could also squeeze in maybe a couple more items I don't think anyone understands how excited I am to put this ironing board away. It has been in my way all week. <laughs> like I said, I really struggle to just get on with finishing those tote bags, just find the motivation to do it. But I needed to keep this out to finish off the banners with the vinyl and to finish off the tote bags, but because I was putting it off, this was just in the way all week. <laughs> I said to Alex, I know if I put this away just to like move it out of the way, I definitely would not get those items finished. So I kind of put it there to annoy myself in hopes that I will do it. Because this room is not that big. I am so blessed and so grateful to have an office space in my house. Someone did point out in one of my videos once that this was a very tiny room and that they don't know how I work in such a small space. <laughs> and I was like, well, I've got a lot more than a lot of people have. I don't mind that in a a lot more than you kind of way not at all but in a i'm very lucky to have this some people don't have a roof over their head some people don't have meals like i am so blessed to have what i have so yeah but first world problems this ironing board has been in my way all week on a lighter note i've got a roof over my head i've got food on the table shouldn't complain goodbye ironing board i am actually so happy with these <laughs> now that i've had like a minute away from them and i've took some breaths they're really cute. I really like them. Really hope you guys do too. Decided I'm going to put back into the thing it came in. 
I don't know if you can see me, I'm like right on the floor, but it's just gone 8 o'clock and I think I'm pretty much done. Chances are I'm probably forgetting a lot of stuff, but everything's down here. I just need to actually pack it in the car. I just need to make a few more signs and price tags and I think that's it. So I'm probably going to stop vlogging here because I still need to shower, wash my hair and all that jazz, but fingers crossed the weather is good tomorrow. Wish me luck, but I'll catch you guys in the morning. Hello guys, so I'm just jumping in to end this vlog. It's currently Monday. I have no idea what this vlog's gonna be like, but obviously we went to the event. It was actually a really nice day. We had some amazing stall holders around us that were really nice. It was really good to talk to them. The market itself was quite busy and because it was a really nice day it was really warm it was lovely and sunny there were a lot of people about but there weren't many people coming down into the artisan bit i guess but it wasn't really advertised as that it's kind of just like the weekly market and then at the end of every month a few artisans go down so not many people were sort of coming down to our bit but a bunch of people took business cards and i did sell a few items and it wasn't a financial loss in the sense of we didn't pay for our table i'm pretty sure i mentioned that in the vlog because we were just there in the place of somebody else and obviously I drove there so petrol however we would have gone to see alex's family that day anyway if the market wasn't going to happen for us so it would have been like the same amount of petrol so overall it was a nice day it was just quite windy so we had a lot of stuff sort of flapping about whether or not i'll do it again i'm not really sure I had a really good weekend. We went and popped over to see Alex's family, which was great. But over the weekend, I did get an order from the lovely Laura. So I will leave her shop information down below. I did package it up so the clips would have been in the video, but I'm going to absolutely butch this, Laura. I'm so sorry, but I'm pretty sure her small business is called Mesme Resin. If I'm wrong, Laura, please correct me. But she creates the most beautiful resin pieces. They're gorgeous. And she's going to be attending our Christmas market, which I am so excited about. So I'm just waiting for this to be picked up. And also, while I was there, the lady who was on the store next to me she said there was a little shop up the road and it was not specifically a craft shop like an arts and craft shop but they had a good arts and crafts and fabric section there so she was like go and have a look so i did i managed to get a macrame board i've seen these online and i've wired one for a while but they're not the cheapest I think the cheapest I'd seen this size for was about £22, but this was 11 50 which I could not resist. It's basically just a foam board with measurements on it, and you can like pin your macrame work to it. And then there was some fabric that was also on sale, so I picked up three metres of it. It's this really lovely, lightweight animal print one, black and white, so I thought this would be really nice to do some limited edition scrunchies. But that is actually everything for this video. I'm so sorry if it was a bit all over the place and there wasn't much to it, but as always, thank you so much for watching. Please give it a massive thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and subscribe if you add all my social medias linked down below as well. So feel free to head on over there and check it out but apart from that i'll see you guys in the next one